Hi, Jeff Simon here from Social Flight with more on the build of our Titan T-51D Mustang. Today we're going to continue our work on the tail of the aircraft. Last time we did the vertical stabilizer and now we're going to start on the horizontal stabilizer. Now due to the complexity of the horizontal stabilizer, we're going to do this in two parts. Today we're going to cover the forward spar and the aft spar and also even getting the hinges in place that the elevator is going to rotate on when we get the elevator in place. And then in our next segment to follow this, you'll get to see how we put ribs into place, get it skinned, glued, and riveted so the entire structure is complete. So it's a long job. Let's get started. Okay, so now we have the forward spar carry through in place and the aft spar carry through in place as well. And this is how the tail comes together. As we talked about earlier, these parts come basically kind of completed from Titan because they are aluminum wrapping a foam core that then has this spar, this very strong forward spar as part of it in the front. This specific stage is key. So. Um, we're going to give you some close-up pictures and I can kind of describe some of that to you. I've clamped some things in place, but let's get and drill some of these pieces into place now that we have them lined up. Okay, so we've got the forward spar and leading edge of our horizontal stabilizer done, set, squared, and mounted into the aircraft. Now it's time to work on the aft spar for the horizontal stabilizer. Now our aft spar carry through, we took care of that earlier, so that's in place. The, this is one of the two aft spars for the horizontal stabilizer. You can see that up close. It has a section that's reinforced towards the middle where the uh, structural uh, integrity needs to be uh, uh, handle higher loads. And then as you get towards the tip, uh, it doesn't need that. And so what we're going to do is uh, mark the center of this. We're going to mount and square up these so that we know where these pieces are actually going to go, how they exactly fit in place. Now, once that is set, we have these ribs. Now each of these ribs serves as a station between that forward half and the aft half of this horizontal stabilizer. So we will uh, get that done either here or on the bench after we know and have squared up where our rear spars are going for the horizontal stabilizer. So what's really cool about this is that we're making some very serious progress now towards having a control system that's working on the aircraft. Once the horizontal stabilizer is done, the actual elevators come from the factory pretty much completed. They even have the electric trim installed, and the same is true for the rudder. So if we can complete the horizontal stabilizer assembly, we can then hang the elevators, hang the rudder, and we can even go and then start working next on the, the control system straight from the stick all the way back. Allow us to install the cables, allow us to install the push-pull tube for the elevator, and at that point in time, you can sit in the cockpit, move the stick, and actually have a functional control system, at least for the tail port, uh, part of the aircraft. So that's pretty exciting, because that gets us a lot closer to visualizing what we'll have at the end of our Titan T-51 Mustang build. So let's get to work. Okay, so this is the rear spar carry-through plate that we installed on the aircraft earlier. We cut, fitted, leveled, and got this all into place. Now, we've taken it off because now what we're going to do is we're going to install the actual rear spars for the horizontal stabilizer. We're going to get those uh, attached to this and they need to be sized and leveled and drilled up. We've already taken care of all the lines that we need on it. 
but this rear spar carry through is a pretty important plate and a pretty important part of the aircraft because what we also install on this once these spars so I'll, I'll do a little mock up here once these spars get installed then this part is facing forward and behind this we actually have the elevators now for the elevators to actually work at the center of that we need to have this bracket and bearing assembly and so you can see right here this is what will become the bracket and bearing assembly that the elevators are going to rotate on now that happens right behind this spar the spar being the strongest part of the uh, of the actual horizontal stabilizer and so it's the perfect pivot point to do that so we are going to get all of this installed leveled squared away and then we're going to drill the holes and mount this so we can have this assembly in place once we have this put onto the aircraft we can then go to that step of finally putting those ribs in place finish our horizontal stabilizer and get to the point then we can work on the elevators so what I'm going to do, I've taken and cleared this table. Now I'm going to uh, mock everything up. We're going to do checks on all of our dimensions, make sure we have it all set. And then we have a backing plate on the inside. We've got the bracket and bearing I just showed you and a, uh, an, an extra plate that's going to go on the back side. We can then bolt all of that together, get everything drilled together, make sure it fits and then put it on the aircraft and see how things are from there. So let's get to work. Now I'm using these mini clamps to hold everything in place while I do it. These are great little tools. You can just kind of widen whatever you need and ratchet that and it clamps it right up. Okay, so we've basically done a dry assembly of this entire thing that we just talked about that brings us from the elevator bearing all the way through the rear spar for our horizontal stabilizer. And so as you can see this now, we have this in, entire stabilizer in place. We've got a doubler plate that ties all this together, really makes it strong. We're going to have to attach this top plate, which clamps and holds that in place. And then on the rear side, we've got another plate and then we've got our elevator bearing. So when this is in place, this is going to be in this orientation here. And then that elevator bearing is where they're going to rotate at the center. Uh, we still have to assemble all that in place, but we're really getting something here that now is uh, really functional, really looks uh, exactly the way it will in the end. Um, so let's get a few uh, more holes drilled to, to match all this up and uh, we'll move ahead from there. At the rear of the horizontal spar carry through, we have the hinge that the elevators are going to uh, rotate under. And so this center hinge assembly is now in place and we need to rivet it and encapsulate the bearing that makes the elevator so smooth in this T51D Mustang. So let's get this riveted into place.
Well, I have to say that my favorite tool in the shop right now is definitely this aircraft tool supply pneumatic uh, rivet puller. Uh, for all the blind rivets that we're going to be doing on this T-51 Mustang, this thing does a fantastic job. You saw how quickly I was able to get that bearing assembly put into place. Uh, it just vacuums out the stems very, very quick, very, very simple, and it even was able to get into the tight space that we had right there. For Social Flight, I'm Jeff Simon, and we will see you next time. Be sure to check out socialflight.com and the Social Flight mobile apps. There are tens of thousands of aviation events and destinations. The $100 hamburger, of course, is there for all the places that you could fly to. And of course, the Fly to Win Challenge, where you can compete to win from tens of thousands of dollars of prizes. It's all there. And subscribe to us here on our YouTube channel, as well as liking us on Facebook. Every time that we see that, you're a candidate to win one of these very cool T-51D Mustang t-shirts and uh, be sure to let us know your thoughts. We're always here to reply. For Social Flight, I'm Jeff Simon, Blue Skies.